Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Libra. This is going to be for June 2023. You, you could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Why did they do this? So we're going to take a look, look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of, or was dealing with. We're going to see what this person did to you, and then we'll finish off the read to see why they did it, okay? So apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Um, what else? Uh, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about Libra. Libra. The person that Libra is dealing with, was dealing with, or is thinking of, what did this person do to Libra? What does this person do to Libra? What did this person do to Libra? For uh, June 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. What did this person do to Libra here with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse? You know, in the Tower in the reverse, whoever this is, I just feel like someone here just didn't really put a lot of effort. Yeah, with the Tower card in the reverse, this connection ended. And I feel like for somebody, this just can't come back together again. Yeah, I just feel like the connection was not really built on a strong, strong, solid foundation here because I feel like the effort was just not on an equal playing field here. One person was doing more work than the other, okay? So Eight of Pentacles, a tower in the reverse Aries, Scorpio energy here. Uh, we have the Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. One of the things I'm getting here, I feel like one of the reasons why this person didn't really put a lot of effort in was that this person was also giving attention to somebody else here. It seemed like they had a decision to make between you and somebody else. Um, you know, I do feel like you have a strong soulmate connection with this individual, okay? This person might have had a strong soulmate connection with somebody else here. But, you know, I just feel like you left this behind. With the Nine of Pentacles here and Temperance here, you know, I just feel like you forgiving yourself for allowing yourself to, you know, for, you know, giving too much of the situation with this person when they were not, when they were not giving back in return here. And I feel like you're just in the process of healing from this, you know, forgiving yourself and also forgiving this person. You know, uh, when you forgive someone else, just keep in mind, you're not doing it for that person. You're doing it for yourself. You're freeing yourself from the situation so that you can move forward, right? So Temperance Sagittarius energy here, Nine of Pentacles here, you know, the Eight of Cups. We have the lovers here. It seems like this person walked away from this connection here. Yeah, or that they weren't really fully emotionally invested because like I said, it seems like this person had other options here. Now, Libra, apply this to your own situation because, um, you know, it could be on your timeline and, you know, uh, just apply, to, uh, apply this to your timeline. It could have already happened or it's happening right now or it will happen in the future, okay? Tell me about the Two of Pentacles here. That's not the Two of Pentacles. I'm so sorry. Two of Wands. We have the Sun. Leo energy. Yeah, you gave too much to this connection here. And now I feel like that energy that you're um that you were giving to this person, I feel like you're shifting that energy to yourself or that you're learning your lessons here. Okay. One of the things that I, that I'm getting here is that I feel like this person could be facing their karma here too, because you know they're they you know, I feel like they haven't only done this to you, but I feel like they've done this to other people here. And obviously you're they're doing it to someone else because, you know, if they're you know, seeing you and then they have other options here, you know, they're doing the exact same thing, not really fully emotionally investing, you know, breadcrumbing you and stuff like that, okay? You could expect an apology from this person because like I said, I feel like you are separated from this individual here. Yeah, this person went off to explore. This person has a lot of options here. It seems like this person has a hard time keeping up with their stories. Uh, maybe that's how you found out here too because the stories that they were telling you were just not adding up. It's like one of those things like, wait, but you told me this, and then you they, they would tell you something else. 
Um, tell me why this person did this. Why did this person do this? Why did this person do this to Libra? Why did this person do this to Libra? For June 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. Um, we have the Strength card, Leo Energy. We have the Page of Swords here. Seems like they were just out there, maybe looking for sex. Yeah. And I feel like when they went out there and found sex, and they, they thought that maybe there could be something more with these individuals here. Uh, so the Strength card, Leo Energy, the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the High Priestess here, and the Three of Wands. They were hoping that if they don't put effort or that if they start limiting the communication, they thought that perhaps you would disappear, you know? Well, you did. You did disappear. Yeah, you walked away. You, you pulled back your energy here. You ended the connection. It seems like it was almost a game here. Yeah, it was almost a game here. Six of Wands. Yeah, this was a, all a mind game. I, I feel like this person was just so confident that you, would, you wouldn't catch on here. You wouldn't catch on here. But I feel like with the Ten of Wands here and the High Priestess, your intuition was on overdrive. Seems like what's happening here is I feel like with the Three of Wands here, I feel like this person is yearning for you to come back. I do feel like you're this Queen of Wands here and this Nine of Pentacles. Four of Swords here in the Hangman. Seems like you made peace with the situation here, Libra. Seems like you let the situation go. Yeah, I just don't see this coming back together. I don't even really see this person trying to reconcile here. Um... But yeah, I do feel like this person's definitely facing their karma. I do feel like they're definitely being called to correct their behavior here because I feel like this person has a pattern of doing this. They're just going to end up alone. Yeah, they're just going to end up alone because they're wasting... This person thinks... This person... So this person has a notion of, you know, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different, different results. But they're not expecting really a lot of whole different results um they're, i mean they, it's whatever they're doing here it's definitely catching up to them here libra so libra i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye